Hello, and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I am your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor to Tenkar's Tavern Blog. And don't forget the same name, Discord server, and Facebook community. So, if you've missed the excitement from today, uh, I'm not sure if James released this stuff yesterday or today. He released four titles on drive through which were released in print at Gen Con. When I say James, James Raggy, Lamentations of the Flame Princess. And uh, <clears throat> one thing that he wrote, uh, or published, I should say, is Zach has nothing to do with this book. Now, before I get into this, which is a bit of a rant, and uh, James... Uh, Sorry, but all right. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna call you a wuss. The uh, the actual words that were gonna come out of my mouth might have been found offensive to some. And I'm trying to only be vulgar, not offensive, in my uh, podcast. But yeah, Raggy, change Raggy. You are a fucking wuss. All right, man. But first, but first, we have. Uh, Commentary from none other than our very own Joe the Lawyer. Joe and I were talking about this earlier, so he left a voicemail about this very episode, which I'm recording now. Figure that one out. Let's stop for uh, listening to Joe. Hey, man, Joe the Lawyer here. Going to leave you a pre-podcast message. We were just texting and uh, talking about some stuff in text, and... uh, uh, related to the uh, Raji thing, I sent you two links about, and this is just interesting. I uh, I wonder, you know, we were discussing. I, I I was surprised it didn't come up, like and make bigger news a few weeks ago. I think it's a uh, a sign of his diminishing influence in the industry or something. I don't know. Um, who knows? Because uh, I usually say it like that pops out. Plus, I'm gonna make this since you're gonna title it something to do with Raji. I want to make the uh, Further statement of where's my fucking book? So, you know. <laughs> anyway, later, man. Have a good podcast. The book Joe was referring to, of course, is The Lamentations of the Flame Princess, weird fantasy referee book, which is, you know, late for numerous reasons and numerous excuses. And right now, I believe James is uh, dictating the book to some. some Other party. But in any case, here's why James is a wussy. James, you wussed out. Because he titled that release from earlier, I guess yesterday, it was still titled this morning, Zach has nothing to do with this book. All right. But now it's titled, An Analysis into the Nature of Man, and the satanic power he contains, which is James being, uh, I don't know, did you, did James, did you uh, fall to pressure from the public? Like, you fell to the pressure where you had to disassociate yourself from Zach, and now you're a supporter of Zach, where apparently in the print version of this, which was released at Gen Con, and I heard nothing about this in my circles, And I just spent, uh, the reason why you support this podcast is I'll spend $23, $24 to get this this, uh, shit shipped from Noble Knight Games so I can read the preface where James rants about what happened to him and and Zach and uh, basically is an apologist. I'll read some clips from other blogs out there uh, and I'll link the blogs you know, in the show notes, they actually have some portions of this preface, but the preface is now removed from this uh, revised version, which I spent my two dollars on a fucking PDF because I figured, all right. So he's 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 you know he's wussed out. He uh, he took the easy way. He he changed the title, but surely, surely he didn't change the preface. There's no preface anymore. All right, so Zach, uh, this whole apology for Zach and 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 this whole rant of James's is, is gone, right? But no, it's not. 
No, it's not. Because it's in a print copy. And anybody who grabbed the PDF copy earlier has uh, a version of uh, James's preface. So James, it doesn't go away. All right? You don't get the chance to say shit and then erase it, you know, mysteriously from the internet. No. Or, or print. You print the 500 copies of this for Gen Con, right? All right. Well, I'll, I'll have my limited edition copy coming to the house next week. And, of course, we'll bring this up again because I'll have to read your words because they're your words, man. They're important, right? James Raggy speaks. Everybody listens. James Raggy gives excuses for why the ref book is late. There's excuses, but let, let's listen to some of these quotes uh, from the preface that James has tried to scrub. A publisher's job, or any sort of employer really, should never be to police the personal or legal life of its creators or contractors beyond what is directly involved in the creation and production of publications. A publisher that acts as a moral guardian or enforcer is laughable and ridiculous. Well, I personally don't like Zach Smith. All right? Think he's a fucking asshole. Think he's full of himself. He's a pompous bitch. However, yes, Rach, I said that. However, you know, he's an individual that if you disagree with him and you can actually argue back, he blocks you because he doesn't want to look stupid. But in any case, I don't believe in blacklisting Zach based upon accusations. However, when it comes to drive through saying they will not let any new titles from Zach Smith reach their market, they got to protect themselves. So while I don't, I'm not going to be the one going out there with the uh, tars and feather and I, oh, and then the torch to light up the tar. Um, I'm not going to do that to Zach. All right. I thought his quality was, uh, what's the best way I can put it? Irregular. Some stuff was really good. Red and Pleasant Land was, uh, dare I say, damn close to awesome. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's other stuff from his that I think is highly overrated. And I don't understand why it gets such, you know, high praise, except for the fact that Zach. And institute a cult of personality around himself. Now, that cult of personality, by the way, is what Zach used to leverage Raggy's business, okay? They were in this symbiotic relationship, kind of, where Zach needed Raggy's public, uh, publishing uh, contacts. He needed uh, James's ability to produce amazing physical books. And uh, Raggy needed a, a named talent that could get him out there and could bring customers to make him successful. And it was. So now, I'm oh, sorry, I, I digress. Let me go back to uh, uh, James's uh, uh, chest thumping. Uh, never mind that it is a publisher's job, one of the most important duties to protect their talent and their work from attack even if it is offensive to their personal sensibilities. Mm, if your talent brings that attack upon themselves, it is not your responsibility to defend them. However, since Zach was your money machine, he was your pot of gold, uh, I understand why you feel that way. I completely abandoned my most important responsibility out of self-preservation. It was cowardice of the worst and most unforgivable kind. Here's the deal. Zach, while talented, is literally combustible. We all knew at some point he was going to say something or do something beyond his normal obnoxious uh, online persona on Google Plus that was going to blow up in somebody's face. In this case, James invested way too much of his company into Zach's success as opposed to James's success, okay? When you put all your marbles into one explosive bucket, this is what you get. <sighs> and the demands to get in line right the hell now or else were there. I had just a few months before 
taken on my first actual employees. One full-time, and the next week, the allegations went public. I had been approved for the last of a series of large loans intended to be used to expand the company. I was responsible for other people's lives, and I was leveraged to hell and back. I was in no position to make my own decisions, let alone put up any sort of fight over it. So I had to announce that I would no longer work with Zach. All right. I mean, dude, market decides. All right. And you were leveraged. Oh, and, oh, and that's right. And we weren't shipping anything this year, can't because of uh, finished postal rates going up or some shit like that. And then uh, James goes on. And by the way, I really am really dying to get my physical copy. Again, it's going to be the best $24 I've spent in this fucking hobby to read James's rant and read it to my community so you can all hear it. Because I know it. I'm only getting bits and pieces here from some the blogs that are out there. James, you 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 changed the PDF, man. You pulled it all out. Yeah, you know, what? Jeez. All right. And the house must be rebuilt. And it will be rebuilt in accordance to my wishes and mine alone. This is sounding like uh, a little religious, right? Anyone that thinks that they have a say in this is very badly mistaken. The community will have no say in the matter because the community, by the way, community is in, you know, quotes, the community is poisonous. You'll take what you're given or you'll go away. Well, James, let me give you a little insight here. All right. And you can take it for what it's worth. Similar to the insight I gave to you when you said, hey, I want to do 12 Kickstarters at once. What do you think? And I was like, all you're going to do is have each one feed off each other. You were going to fuck yourself over. And it did. All right. So I'm not going to give you any real insight that you probably don't have yourself, but you're not willing to look at it. So I'm going to tell you right now. The community is getting tired of shock, jock publications really you know you 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 th seem to think that the world you're in now is the world that you were in what eight years ago was it about when you uh came out with oh maybe nine years ago when you came out with uh those first adventures you know the ones that actually were playable as opposed to the party fuck jobs that you put out now I mean, the, your your authors that that you publish, most of their stuff is playable, but your personal stuff has been, sorry, dude, lacking for a bit. So your excuses as to the community can take what is given or go away, James, if, in case you haven't noticed, they've been going away. And it's not because you fail to publish books that are physically top of the line amazing it's because what you write generally isn't usable sorry maybe for a convention game we're killing the whole party it's part of the deal but you've 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 lost touch with the reality and you're living your own world and i'd hate to see those loans come come due and uh, your success is not there so maybe you should look at the audience that you have a potential for and aim more for your audience and less for the shock jockness because that's just, it's falling away from you. Um, with this book, I reclaim my power and deny the policers, the censors, the Puritans, the kindly inquisitors, all those that seek to define for other people what is proper and those who endeavor to enforce their morale uh, will upon the dreams and imaginations of others and dictate what others may or may not create, purchase, or read. James, you just changed the fucking title to the PDF, right? And you remove this whole preface from the PDF. So your chest thumping is just that. Take this time to reevaluate Take this time to figure what you need to do to be a continued success because something your chest isn't it. Sorry. All right, folks. Like I said, I got a copy of this. I spent $24 shipped to get it from Noble Knight. They have everything. And uh, 
when I get it, we will get a uh, you get to listen to the full preface uh, that James has now felt. Uh, I don't know, James, are you embarrassed by what you wrote? I mean, you put it in print back in in, in sold it the summer. You can't be embarrassed by it, right? You can't be. Not James. All right, folks. On that note, if you like what you hear on this podcast and you're on iTunes, hey, give us a rating, give us a review. Um, I thank you all for listening. It makes what I do worthwhile. As always, be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice, and yes, my voice is really back. I did a 13-plus minute recording here, and I don't think my voice cracked much at all. Woohoo! All right, folks. Be good, and I will talk with you all tomorrow. Laters.